Chris here, and in today's video, I am going to be unboxing my Briarfest beans! So, I tried to film part of this earlier, but I guess I deleted the videos or something. So, I had already gotten Kelpie, McKinsey, Epona, and Oak before I got the box that I got today, but when I went to go edit this video, I realized I didn't have the intro or the first part of it. I've already unboxed these guys, but I did get McKinsey, and let me just say, this is is one of my favorite plushies that Briar has ever done for Briarfest. I actually got number 318 out of a thousand, which is hecka exciting. So I get to add him to my plushie collection. Look at how cute he is. Ooh, let him run. That's McKinsey. And then right here, I got Kelpie, who is the crystal pony. And he's actually the bouncer mold turned into a crystal. I have three crystal horses. I get them every year I go to Briarfest. I was super excited for him. He he is a little wonky looking, but they just chill in a cabinet downstairs, so I don't think it really matters. I also got Oak, who I'm so excited about. This was like my top pick out of all of Briarfest. I already made him a halter that he's wearing that I'm gonna sell during my next Etsy shop restock. Again, like I said earlier, I lost the video of me unboxing them, so I'm just showing them to y'all, and then we'll get to me actually unboxing ponies. This is Oak, definitely my favorite out of this entire Briarfest. I'm so so happy I got him and I'm actually renaming him Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender because you know what? They're kind of the same color, right? And then right here is my Epona. Epona was a 50-50 split where she had a braided mane and a loose mane variation. I got the loose mane variation, which I really wanted, so I'm super excited about that. She's also modeling a halter that I'm going to be selling soon. And I have renamed her Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender. Her lead rope just fell off, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on. Without any further ado, let's dive into the rest of this video. The rest of my beans are here! Actually, are going to be a few duplicates in here that I'm just not even going to show because they're going to live with friends, so why show them? It's not like I'm keeping them. But I'm so excited! I can't wait to see my beans! Also, quick spoiler alert, the surprise horses are in here, so if you, like, want to keep that a secret, don't, don't keep watching. But you've been warned. Don't act like you weren't warned. Let's open it! Can you see what the inside looks like? Who is this? This is going to be the mare full set, so we're just gonna go ahead and open this. We'll start out with the full and then work our way to the mare. Like, so little! So I do have the Premier Club one on this set, but this guy is so cute! Ewok, I think you got some competition on who's cutest. Let's open the mare! They're so cute! Also, y'all will be getting a close-up of all of these ponies after I'm done opening all of them, but here is the mare and full set. They are so cute! I'm so happy that I got these guys. Now we have a surprise horse! I got the paint! Oh my goodness. Briar literally snapped with the surprise horses this year. She is so cute! So I got the red round paint. Let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna do the store specials last because there's so many of them, but here we have Cheesecake. Oh, I'm so excited about him. And then Benelli and also Top Gun. Here we have some stable mates. <gasps> Here's Ash. Oh my gosh. I'm living for this. What the heck? What's not to loaf about the Othello mold? Wow, he's a massive Briar Reeves stamp on his leg. Do the rest of that. Moving on. Oh, we got more duplicates. Okay. And on to the last surprise horse. I've seen like a lot of people get doubles and... <gasps> Not gonna lie, I was like gonna be really upset if I didn't get this girl, but I got the Leopard Appaloosa Surprise Horse who I'm so excited about. She is my favorite out of all of the surprise horses this year. I am just a huge sucker for Appaloosas and Briar did such a good job on this girl. I'm so excited that I got her. My two surprise horses be like popping off. They're so cute. Look at them! All right, who should we open first? Should we do the stable mates? Benelli, I think we should probably do stable mates. Top Gun, Benelli, then Cheesecake. That sounds like a pretty good order. Here are these stable mates. They're so cute. I normally don't collect stable mates, but Mini North Star over here really did me in for this set because I really wanted North Star and I didn't get him. So I believe these are just mini versions 
versions of the auction models that Briar has done in the past. Mini North Star is by far my favorite in this set. He's a little glossy boy. And we just have a bunch of others, which their names were on the box, but I threw the box on the other side of my room. So I'm not gonna be able to read that. But here we have this adorable little guy. Okay, this guy is like super cool. He kind of looks like a fancier Hildago. Oh my gosh, I loved this little stable mate mold, which is one of the galloping stable mates. And he's a little blanket Appaloosa. How awesome. And then lastly, this guy kind of looks like Jazz Fusion in a way. Super, I caught him. Who let me unbox things? Because that's not a good idea. Honestly, out of all of them, now that I've said that like North Star is my favorite, I think I lied because I think I like this guy a little bit more, but that's okay. Now we're gonna move on to unboxing Top Gun, who's totally an impulse buy, and I got him on what, Sunday, I think? So it was kind of like a last minute like, well, I got the other two, might as well get you as well. So I ended up with him, and honestly, he's so much cuter in person. Briar pictures made him look green and he doesn't look green at all in person which Briar's editing on their photos is a little weird sometimes. Let's go ahead and crack him open. Also hold up these boxes are so cute. Look at this. It's like plaid all the way around and if it doesn't have plaid it is the Celtic knots and that is so fancy. Okay stand is like really dirty for some reason but here is a stand. I never know which way this actually goes on the horse so we'll run into that issue in a second. Second. Oh, okay, like I'm so glad that I actually got this guy because he's so much cuter in person than he was on the Briar website. Look at that, he's doing pull-ups. Oh yeah, work out Top Gun, what the heck? His dapples are literally so subtle. They looked like really harsh on Briar's picture, but they are so much prettier in person. Now does the stand go this way or does it go this way? There we go, okay. Well, I'm gonna assume it goes this way, but if it doesn't, please let me know because I don't really know. I'm really excited to see what this guy specifically looks like in gloss when everybody gets their glossy versions because I personally think his color is really going to pop when he's in gloss. All right, so that is Top Gun. Let's go ahead and go on to unboxing. But no! So I got cheesecake on Friday and then after I got cheesecake I was like well now that I've been hitting next and previous I have literally fallen in love with Benelli. That is why I got him. Hold up quick overview of his box. Super purple. Super gorgeous. Let's go ahead and crack him open. The magazine fell onto me. Get that out of here. Oh my god, how many ties did they put on this man's legs? All of his legs are tied down. So now I just gotta undo the ties that are on his legs. There we go. Okay. Oh, he's free! Okay, this guy's coloring is stunning. His braids and his mane are purple, which I personally think really complement his color. Do they do any other braid except for purple in the sky? Because I have Vahana from Briarfest 2017 who is going to be very excited that he is a friend now. And he has purple in his mane too. So is that just like something that comes on this mold? Also his paint markings are crazy gorgeous. Just look at those. They are literally all over his body. Honestly, the pinking on his nose is so cute. That's Benelli. Now we're going on to the last bean, Cheesecake. This is by far one of my favorite horses from Briarfest. Totally forgot to show y'all his box. His box is red. Also, it's really dented in right here. He looks perfectly fine, but can you see that? That's super, super dented in for some reason. So here's just an overview. It's red. The plaid on this one is by far my favorite. That doesn't even have plaid. Okay, that's the plaid right there if you can see it. I don't even remember what I was saying, so let's go ahead and open them. <laughs> Give me my bean! Okay, this should not be as hard as it is. Free him! Let him go! I got him! <laughs> His box is literally so torn up. If I can find my wire cutters, I'm gonna free him! Found him! I have a new favorite on this mold! So, Cheesecake is really, really lightly colored and he has gorgeous blue eyes. I did not know that this guy was gonna come with blue eyes. He's so pretty! If y'all didn't know, a collector actually owns the horse Cheesecake and let me just say, the real life horse is stunning. That guy is so pretty. I would have loved to meet him in person at Briarfest, but sadly it was only virtual, so I just did the meet the horses and Cheesecake is a heckin' cool bean. But here is his model and I was literally 
literally screaming when I saw this guy in Briar's promotion pictures and I just knew I had to get him so I literally spent all day Friday hitting next and previous between Cheesecake and Benelli until I got both of them and I am so glad that I did. I'm really excited to see it, the glossy variations of all of the store specials but I am heckin excited to see the glossy variation of Top Gun. Alright now that I've opened all of my Briar Fest beans let's go ahead and get a close up of all of them. Alright so here's just kind of a quick overview of all of the Briar Fest beans that I got. I will have a Briarfest haul where I go kind of more in depth about the ponies that I got and also include some of the Clarion purchases that I got and horses that weren't really Briarfest themed that I got shipped from Briar. So I just wanted to give you all an overview of these guys, just like a really fast one. And then I will have a Briarfest haul up soon. But oh my goodness, look at how cute the Marin Fall set is. Here we have Ash. Wow, look at those whites. Oh, Briar did such a good job. Here are the little tiny stable mate beans, which they're just to die for adorable. It'd be high key so cool to get their models. There's Top Gun. He looks so much better in person. My two surprise horses. Here's Cheesecake and Benelli. And then over here we have Oak and Epona, the ones that I lost the video to. Yeah, there's just an overview of those guys. I kind of have a lot to clean up now. All right, y'all. So that's actually the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please go slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video and all of my Briar Fest beans a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore Briars. I post on there daily and I'm super active on there. Also, whenever I get out on my next photo shoot, y'all will get to see photos of all of these hotties. So be sure to keep a lookout for that. Also, comment in the comment section down below which horse out of my entire Briar Fest portion of this haul was your favorite. I will have a Briar Fest haul posted in a few days with all of my Clarion ponies and my Briar Fest Park ponies so that y'all can see them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. Also, so you get notified as soon as I post my Briar Fest 2020 haul. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise up